Reed Timmer, and of course, Reed, you know, it is hurricane week here, and before we get into the smoke, you know, extreme meteorologist means you've been in a lot of situations. Let's first take you to what it's like in the right front quadrant of a hurricane. Before you get to that, I want to show you my graphic here showing you the anatomy of a hurricane. And when you have a powerful hurricane, especially like what we saw in Ian, a perfect eye in the middle of the clouds, and read it's always in that right front quadrant. That's where you're always trying to get into in that run, right front quadrant into that eye wall. Explain people how extreme that area of the hurricane is. Well, that donut-like area that is the eye wall has the worst winds in it. it almost, it's almost like a large tornado, and it goes from relatively calm to extreme winds uh, gusting over 150 miles an hour in the blink of an eye. And that right front quadrant is the most powerful part of the hurricane that's moving off to the northeast. That's where we were during Hurricane Ian on the southern tip of Pine Island where those winds gusted over 150 miles an hour. And it makes a big difference because that wind is ripping off the ocean, relatively frictionless, and that's the most powerful powerful part of the hurricane. And then you break into the eye and you see that clear sky above you. And then the back wall comes in, the back eye wall. And sometimes those can even be almost as powerful as the front right eye wall. But once those are making landfall, that wind just ripping off the water, water coupled with that big storm surge is the most dangerous part of the hurricane. Can you explain to our uh, viewers what it's like to be in that eye? When that clear skies go, go right, I got to believe that's an eerie feeling. It is a very eerie feeling and it goes from so extreme to calm with blue sky above. It's almost like mother nature is playing tricks on the mind a little bit. It's very calm and you look around and you see that storm surge flooding as far as the eye can see. You can hear people crying out for help as well oh. when that eye arrives. And so it's a very eerie feeling, very calm and just the dichotomy that you experience with the extreme conditions in the front eye wall and then breaking out in that blue sky. There's nothing like it.